group called Humanitarian Re Relief Foundation, or IHH. And it does, as she mentioned, have links with Turkey's ruling party and also is best known for helping to organize that flotilla of aid ships to the Gaza Strip in May. Ken O'Keefe was on one of those ships and joins us now to talk more about this. Hey there, Mr. O'Keefe. Um, I want to talk first about your experience. I understand you were on one of those um, ships, one of those uh, flotilla aid ships. Talk to me about your experience and what you think that that incident, uh, the effect that that incident has had so far. Well, what the incident proves is that we as people who have conscience, who actually care about the world we live in, can affect change in a meaningful way if we act in unison and we act intelligently. The accusation that, that uh, we were in any way acting as terrorists is really the pot calling the kettle black, the biggest terrorist on the planet. Without question, if we ask the Iraqi people and the Afghani people, is the United States of America. So it's pretty funny that we would actually give any credence to the United States listing anyone else as a terrorist when they, in fact, are the biggest terrorists themselves. Well, I want to talk about this um, letter written by 87 U.S. senators um, that basically said that the IHH is a group affiliated with Hamas, and Hamas, as you know, has been designated as a terrorist organization. Uh, I just want to hear your take on uh, the unofficial characterization, characterization of a terrorist group of IHH. Well, if we recall back in the 80s, Nelson Mandela was serving a life sentence without parole for refusing to renounce violence, and Margaret Thatcher and Ronald Reagan were calling him a terrorist. It seems today that it's a great compliment to those of us who actually care about the world that we live in to be called a terrorist from the biggest terrorist on the planet. It's uh, absurd that we would give any credence to it as far as I'm concerned. The real truth is that the policies of America and Israel and Britain, through its uh, endorsement of these policies, are acting with the most extreme example of terrorism. If we look at the actual definition of the word, who is being terrorized and who is carrying out the terrorism? The United States is number one. But let's be honest. I mean, a lot of groups on this list put out by the State Department uh, really do have some. I mean, uh, of course, as we pointed out, there are humanitarian aid groups there. But a lot of these groups, Mr. O'Keefe, uh, have some really, really terrifying and horrifying crimes under their belt. I mean, you're really saying it's flattering for you to be on the same list with these people? Well, the IDF has just accused me of being a terrorist operative, in their own words, and apparently I was heading to Gaza to train commando units for Hamas. That's Israel, America's number one ally, the one who's using white phosphorus and other weapons to uh, kill and destroy lives, including hundreds of children. So if you ask me, uh, does it impress me what the United States says? No, I'm not impressed at all, and I think all of us who have any kind of mind, any independent ability to think whatsoever can see it for what it is. Let's talk about this list itself. Who do you think stands to benefit um, by having a list like this put out every year? Well, the benefactors are the ones who are trying to cover their own crimes. And obviously, again, we come back to the United States. There are a million dead people in Iraq plus. There are uh, how, many untold million, uh, how many untold amounts of people dead in Afghanistan? America is bombing. Pakistan, uh, even though it's not at war with Pakistan, and Pakistan was their ally throughout this so-called war on terror. It is completely absurd that we would listen to the United States and give credence to their accusations of terrorism. Again, they are the number one terrorist. How can we ignore that fact? And as far as I'm concerned, let me make clear, I'm proud to have been associated with IHH. The amount of work that they've done to help people and support human rights around the world is indisputable. The accusations that they are terrorists are false, baseless, and if we believe in due process of law, show the proof, convict them in a court of law justly. Otherwise, it's baseless accusations. All right, Ken O'Keefe, and I should mention also that you are a Gulf War veteran, former Marine, and now a member of the humanitarian aid group to help Gaza.